Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for tonight's NBA slate on Wednesday, March the 29th. Uh, now we have a big Wednesday slate tonight, 10 games, and I'm actually recording this video on Tuesday night. Um, usually I always take a look at the board the night before, but I don't always make my videos the night before just because there's usually not enough props worth targeting, and, and it's usually hard to find a ton of plays to like when there's not much on the board. But we've already got a good amount on the board right now, and I found two props I did like taking a first look at the board um, you know, on Tuesday night when I'm recording this video. So we're going to talk through two plays I do like um, at first look, guys, just before we do get started uh, breaking down these plays. As always, if you guys uh, do enjoy these Prastix videos, if they do help you out, make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Um, and if you're new to the channel, you've never checked out Prospix before, you can sign up for Prospix and use my promo code, promo code NOAH. If you look at the bottom of the screen, when you sign up for Prospix with my promo code, you'll get your first deposit matched up to $100. So definitely check them out. If you have not yet, use that promo code when you sign up, and so that way you do get your deposit bonus uh, when you do sign up. And I do want to recap our two plays that we gave out in Tuesday's video before we talk through today's plays. So uh, in the two plays we gave out Tuesday, one of them hit, but one of them missed, unfortunately. Uh, we did hit the over on Denny Avia's fantasy score. That was the one play that cashed for us. Denny Avia, once again, had a really big game, um, even against you know Boston, even though even though there was a chance that Boston was, you know potentially could have blown out Washington. It actually worked out the other way. Uh, Washington actually blew out Boston, which was crazy. Um, Denny Avia had like 25 points, 10 rebounds, um, like six assists. Really good game from him, over 40 fantasy points. He cashes over fantasy score, but unfortunately, Nick Richards did not cash his over fantasy score. Um, and Nick Richards didn't even have that bad of a game. He had a double-double. He had 14 points and 11 rebounds, but he just didn't do anything else. He had zero assists. He had zero steals, zero blocks. And I think he had like one or two turnovers, um, which cost him. He finished with like 26 fantasy points. We needed uh, 28 and a half from him. So he finished like three fantasy points short, which was super annoying because he cashed. He cashes over points. He cashes over rebounds. He cashes over PRA. He cashes over points plus rebounds. The only thing that he didn't cash was fantasy score. And that was just because, you know, he didn't get any stocks, no, you know, blocks, no steals, and he had a couple turnovers too. So that was really annoying. I felt like I had the right read there um, with Nick Richards. I really liked that matchup for him against OKC. Um, just, I guess I chose the wrong prop, um, taking fantasy score for him. I felt like, though, he could at least gotten, like, one block. Usually he's a guy that can get, you know, at least, like, one or two blocks, and he had zero, which was annoying. But um, we move on to Wednesday slate, guys. Again, we have a big slate tonight, 10 games. Um, and let's talk through these two plays I do like for Wednesday night. So... Um, I got a PRA prop I'm liking, and then I have a points prop that I'm liking. So for PRA, uh, I want to talk about DeMontis Sabonis. His PRA line, it sits at 38.5 on prize picks. And this is an over that I like for Sabonis. Really like this matchup for him going up against Portland. You know, Sabonis, he's only gone over this line in two out of his last five games. But you look at his last two games against Minnesota and against Utah, he literally lost by the hook. He had 38 in both those games. Other game against Utah did come up short with 32 PRA in that one. This is a matchup, though, that Sabonis should have a lot of success in going up against the Blazers. The Blazers this season have been a horrible defensive team, and their defense is only going to be worse now that they don't have Damian Lillard, no Jeremy Grant, no Anthony Simons, no Yusuf Nurkic. They're pretty much running out a bunch of you know backups. Um, and I guess that, you know, we'll talk about that in a second. The, the one concern here is that this game could definitely blow out. Right now, the spread is like 12 and a half. The Kings are favored by 12 and a half. But this game is being played in Portland, so I think that makes it a little bit more likely. The game stays close, and the matchup is just so good here. I mean, Portland's defense, like I said, they've been horrible lately. On the season, when you look at defensive rating, Portland's got the fourth worst defensive rating in the league. And when you look at where Portland ranks in terms of like their defense versus centers, you look at the DVP stats. On the season, Portland's given up the most points per game to centers. Rebound-wise, they haven't been giving up like a ton of rebounds to centers for the season. But when you look, since they've lost use of Nurkic over their last seven, they're giving up the most rebounds per game, or second most rebounds per game to centers, uh, Portland is. And then assist-wise, they've been about middle of the pack in terms of assists allowed to centers. But they've been giving up a lot of points to the center position, and as of late, they've been giving up a lot of rebounds to centers as well. And that should only continue you know, without use of Nurkic. This is a really, really good matchup for Sabonis going up against Drew Eubanks. And we actually did see these teams play um, a, l a little bit earlier this season. It was back in February, and it was when they didn't have a lot of these guys. There was no Nurkic, there was no Simons, there was no Grant, there was no Lillard. These teams played on February 23rd, um, the, the Kings and the and the Blazers. In that game, Portland started Cam Reddish, Ryan Archidiakono, Nasir Little, Matisse Thybul, and Drew Eubanks. And then you know they had like Sharp, Watford, pretty much all the guys they're playing right now 
were available in that game. Um, the Kings won 133 to 116, so it was a fair, fairly high scoring game. I think this should be a fairly high scoring game. Both these teams do like to play somewhat fast, especially the Kings. Both these teams defensively have not, have not been that great this season. This game should be high scoring. The Kings won that game by 17 points. Sabonis still played 32 minutes though. And in those 32 minutes, he had a triple-double, 18 points, 17, 17 rebounds, and 10 assists. So last time he faced Portland, you know, basically the same scenario as today. No Grant, Simons, Nurkic, Lillard. Uh, he put up 45 PRA in 32 minutes. So he did really well against Portland earlier this season. This matchup is fantastic. Portland's defense has been horrible lately. And we know Sabonis, when he's on the floor, is going to be really productive. He's going to stuff the stat sheet in all categories. The guy's averaging like 20 points per game. He's leading the league in rebound chances per game. He's averaging 12.5 rebounds per game, which I'm pretty sure leads the league as well. And then assist-wise, he's been a great facilitator this season, averaging over 7 assists per game, leads the team in 12, with 12.6 potential assists per game. So there's just a lot of ways Sabonis can go over this line, whether it be from you know grabbing 15, 16 rebounds, getting 8, 9 assists. I mean, he could get a triple-double. He could get you like 20, 10, and 10. He could you know dominate in the paint, get a ton of points. He could put up like 30 points. Um, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, something like that. There's just so many ways for him to go over this PRA line. And I think the only way that he lets us down here is potentially blowout. So I was looking at some of his first half props, but a lot of his first half props have been bumped. Like they've already they're like they've already you know bumped those up a little bit. Because if you take a look at his PRA for the first half, it's at 20 and a half. It's really bumped up. Um, I thought it was gonna be at like 18 and a half or 19 and a half, but they've already bumped it up to 20 and a half. I would just take the the full game PRA versus the 20 and a half PRA. His points prop for the first half is set at nine and a half, so I actually don't mind. Or it was at nine and a half, and now it's at ten and a half. So like a lot of his first first half props are already getting juiced up a little bit, but the full game lines are staying the same. And I think the reason the full game lines are so low for Sabonis here are just is just because of the blowout risk. But we saw like you know Wednesday uh, with the freaking Celtics and and Wizards. I mean the Celtics were favored by twelve in that game, and they lost by you know twenty. You just never know with the NBA, man. You never know when these blowouts are going to happen. The team that's favored by 12 could lose by 12. It's just, you never really know. So hopefully Portland at home here can keep this game competitive. If it's a competitive game, we know we're getting 35, 36 minutes from Sabonis, and he should absolutely dominate in this matchup against Drew Eubanks and whoever they throw out there on him. Um, really good spot here for Sabonis. So uh, like his over PRA, 38 and a half is our first play for today. And then the other play that I like is going to be a points prop. And I want to talk about Carl Anthony Towns. So Carl Anthony Towns has made two, or he's played in two games since he's come back from injury. Uh, put up 20, or put up 22 points against Atlanta in his first game back from injury. And then last game against Golden State, he only put up 14 points. That was his second game back from injury. But what really stands out to me is that for one, uh, in the two games he's played since he's come back from injury, his minutes have increased each game. So last game... Um, against Golden State, he played 32 minutes. He played 26 minutes in his first game back against Atlanta, 26 minutes. Last game against Golden State, he played 32 minutes. Cat uh, sat their last game. Um, I can't remember who they played. I think it was uh, they played the Kings, and you know, Carlton Towns did not play that game. He rested on the back-to-back, -back. so he rested their last game. He should be ready to go for this one against Phoenix, and this is a pretty important game for playoff position. I think right now Phoenix is like the four seed in the West, and I think the, the Timberwolves are like the seven seed or something. So yeah, this is a pretty important game for playoff position. I think if this game is competitive, we can probably expect at least 32 minutes from Carl Anthony Towns. You know, I don't expect it. I would only assume his minutes are going to keep going up as he gets more playing time. The fact that he went from 26 to 32 minutes makes me think we'll probably get like maybe 33, 34 minutes here. I mean, there's only so many more minutes he can play. It's not like he's going to play like 45 minutes. But I definitely think we'll get like 33, 34 minutes from Carl Anthony Towns. And you look at his games this season where he's played at least 30 minutes, he's gone over this points prop in a large majority of those games. I think it's like 15 out of 19 games this season. I'm going to check real quick. So he's played 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So yeah, he's played 19 games this season with at least 30 minutes played. 15 out of those 19 games, he's had at least 18 points. Um, and you look last game against Golden State, he did play 32 minutes came up short of his points prop, but he uh, he shot the ball pretty terribly that game. He shot 5 for 16 from the field, which is a, a pretty poor shooting game for Cat. 5 for 16 from the field, came up 4 points short. The game against Atlanta, he scored 22 points in only 26 minutes. You know, this matchup against Phoenix, like, it's okay. I mean, Phoenix's defense is not, like, they're not super stout. They should be getting Kevin Durant back for this game. Not sure who's going to guard Carl Anthony Towns here. Could be Kevin Durant, could be Torrey Craig. Either way, I think Towns can you know find a way to, to you know put the ball in the basket here. I think it's a matchup he can definitely you know have some success in. And the fact that his minutes are trending up each game, that's what really makes me like this prop. 
Um, I know Towns, you know, obviously, you know, he's got some rust he's going to have to shake off. Um, he's played two games since he's come back from injury, but the minutes trending up is what really stands out to me. And if we're going to get 33, 34 minutes from Carl Anthony Towns here, I would feel pretty good about him scoring 18 points. I mean, he's a guy that's average. You know, when he's played full minutes, he's averaged like 24 points per game this season. Um, we're definitely getting a discount on him just because he is kind of coming back from injury. But like I said, the minutes are trending up, which makes me assume we get 32 minutes again from Cat, maybe more. If he plays even more, that's you know even better. This game's really important for playoff position, so I expect minutes to be pretty, you know, they rot the rotation to be pretty condensed, pretty tight. Minutes to be pretty secure for a lot of the starters. Um, so that's what I like as our second play for today. More than 17 and a half points for Carl Anthony Towns. Um, these are two picks. I do like kind of taking a first look at the board right now, guys. Like I said earlier, I'm recording this video on Tuesday night. I normally... Normally don't make my videos the night before, but because there was so many props available uh, kind of on the board right now, it was pretty easy to find two props I did like. Um, I already see a few props I'm kind of liking as well, but I'm just going to share these two plays for now. As always, I will be sharing some more plays for today over on Patreon. I will post those later on Wednesday afternoon once the full board gets posted, and I can take a look through everything once we get like the fantasy score props and all that. Um, I'll take a look through those. I'll try and find you know, two or a few more plays I like, maybe three or four more plays combine those with these two plays I gave out on YouTube, and then yeah, we'll try and figure out like my top two plays. I do give those out on Patreon. Sometimes it'll be some of these plays. Sometimes it won't be. It just kind of depends on what's available on the board right now. Again, we'll have to wait and see what else gets added um, you know, on Wednesday, but these are two props I do like taking a first look at the board right now, guys. So um, if you're tailing me today, I do wish you the best of luck. Hopefully, we can catch these two, uh, two picks, make a little bit of money on this Wednesday slate. It is a big slate tonight, so it should be uh, plenty of fun. Should have plenty of props to, to play today, but that's what I'm liking for this slate. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure if you enjoyed that, or if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Um, and again, if you guys are new to Prize Picks, you never checked them out before, you can sign up for Prize Picks and use my promo code, promo code NOAA. Uh, when you sign up for Prize Picks with my promo code, you'll get my uh, get your first deposit matched up to $100. So check them out if you have not yet. Make sure to use that promo code when you do sign up. But best of luck tonight, guys. Thanks as always for watching the video. Appreciate your guys' support. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.